YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. So you guys, in today's video, we are going to be talking about how to make birch benders pancakes slash waffles taste better, y'all. For me personally, you guys, I have my birch benders ketos pancakes or waffles, y'all, in the morning, for lunch or even for dinner. Typically, you guys, with Burst Benders, Keto Waffles, slash Pancake Mix, y'all, you only have to add water. I like to add in a few things, y'all, to like, you know, take it up a notch. I feel like there's a good amount of people that, you know, like Burst Benders, whether they choose to eat it as a pancake or waffle. You know what, matter of fact, go ahead and comment down below and tell me which one do you like better, pancakes or waffles? Oh, y'all. It's so hard for me, <laughs> cause I just love food, period. But honestly, you guys, I feel like I change it up. One day I'm really feeling pancakes, then I'll be like, pancakes is not even on the level of waffles, y'all. I just don't know. I like them both. Of course, you guys, I do prefer my own homemade keto pancakes, y'all. But you know, sometimes you just ain't got time to be making your own pancakes. You just want something quick, fast, and in a hurry. And that is definitely where Burst Benders handles that whole situation for you. I feel like my little recipe isn't hard or anything to that nature. Just adding in a couple of items, y'all. Pretty sure you already got these items at home. Be over here being like a domestic queen right now, y'all. Just in case y'all do not know, Burst Benders do have some frozen waffles um, that you can get at like Walmart. I don't know anywhere else, but I know Walmart has it. I really do like their frozen waffles, y'all. So yeah, you guys, I'm gonna show y'all a couple of alternatives to like, you know, make your Burst Benders waffles or pancakes taste delicious. If there are any ways that you love to like you know spice up your keto pancakes or waffles go ahead and comment down below and let me know help me and help someone else out as well because we're all just learning here on this keto weight loss journey but anywho my love so as always all i need for y'all to do is to what grab a snack maybe even get a drink prop your feet up relax or make keto waffles with me and enjoy the video oh oh wow okay that's a lot. All right, you guys. So, like, the most important thing for your Burst Benders pancakes and waffle mix is to actually have Burst Benders pancakes and waffle mix package. So, this is what it looks like. Oh, they also have another flavor. Let me go get it. All right, you guys. So, this is the regular one. And this is the chocolate chip one. So, for me personally, y'all, the chocolate chip one, I don't know. Like, every time I try to, like, make it as a pancake, it just never works for me i don't know what's that about i never have that problem with the regular one but the chocolate chips one y'all it's not work well for me as a pancake but as a waffle it does great now you guys for your keto waffles or keto pancakes you can use vanilla extract just like one teaspoon of vanilla extract or y'all <laughs> You can use vanilla extract so like you can have some like keto banana pancakes so good. Typically, you guys, whichever way I decide to like have my keto pancakes or keto waffles flavored, y'all, I'm gonna put like a little bit, just a little bit, of pure organic confectioner stevia blend. Yes, that's what it looks like. I do tend to like putting a little bit of ground cinnamon in my waffles or pancakes, y'all. Then you can also put it on top of your um, keto waffles or pancakes. That'll make it like real cute. And yeah, it'll taste delicious AL. If you wanna do like a whole little pumpkin moment or whatever, y'all, you can put in like maybe one or two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, y'all. Mmm, this is good too. Very good. And sometimes, you guys, if I'm feeling a little extra, oh wow, I almost fell just then. I try to play it off, y'all. Um, I like to include a little bit of pecans, either on top of my waffles or pancakes, y'all, or I actually put it in the mixture, y'all. Ooh, so good. Now, you guys, I've given y'all like a good amount of different ways of improving your Birch Benders Ketos or waffles, y'all. And at this moment, y'all, I don't know how I'm gonna make mine, so. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Look y'all, my hands can do whatever they wanna do in the kitchen, I don't even know. Let them do whatever they want. Let's get into it. I'll show you how to do it right, right, right now. Living life loud, never pipe down. Sky high light, way, way up. Got the roof raised up with the vibe on us. So you guys, you can see here is the nutrition facts. 
one third cup mix. Makes about two, four inches pancakes, y'all. Now y'all, we're doing one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Bloop. Regarding my keto sweetener, y'all, I like to do either one to two tablespoons of keto sweetener. <laughs> y'all, and um, so yeah, today I will be doing, let's do one and a half tablespoons, yeah. Now, y'all, we're doing one teaspoon of our banana extract. All right, y'all, so according to Birch Bender's instructions, you should do like half a cup of water. But y'all, I just like my pancakes to be a little bit thicker than that. So I typically use one fourth a cup. Got this in this month's Keto Crate. Just in case you're interested in checking that video out, I will have it linked above, y'all. Y'all know I do monthly giveaways regarding Keto Crate. So yeah, check that video out. I know they ready for me. All this sauce on me like I got spaghetti on me. Pockets full, yeah, like I got confetti on me. I'm trying to do it for the people at their lowest moments. So if you want that, go get that. Yeah, that's that. Hey, yeah. you need that. Hey, you take that. And they see that. Cause they get back. Cause we need that. Yeah. Get off the ground, now, now you feel the base. Yeah, no L in sight, but I still need a chase. No picture frame, but you still see my face. Yeah, I'ma be hard to replace. Cause one thing I won't do is let you tell me that I can't be great. Family, so as y'all saw, we have two sausage patties, one scrambled egg, one whole avocado. I am going to sprinkle some Himalayan pink salt on my avocados. I forgot to do that. And then we have our Birch Benders keto pancakes with some sugar free syrup. And yeah, I guess I should give y'all a taste test real quick. Mm hmm. Oh, it's literally perfect, you guys. It's not too banana y. Banana. Wow. It doesn't taste like it has too much banana in it. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this food. Sorry, my manners. Y'all, let me eat this meat real quick. <laughs> okay. So you guys, today's video was all about how to improve the taste of your Birch Benders keto waffles or keto pancakes, y'all. And so yeah, y'all, that will conclude today's video. As always, you guys, if you don't hear it from anyone else, I love you, so stay blessed, and I will see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow why because we are uploading every single day for the month of december for vlogmas all right y'all i'll see y'all tomorrow about to eat this food yum 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 we just love us a keto breakfast over here yeah so all right y'all thank you so much for watching bye see you tomorrow <laughs>